astronomers have unveiled the first image of the supermassive black hole at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. This result provides overwhelming evidence that the object is indeed a black hole and yields valuable clues about the workings of such giants, which are thought to reside at the center of most galaxies. The image was produced by a global research team called the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration, using observations from a worldwide network of radio telescopes. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at how scientists have finally discovered what's inside the black hole. Yeah, you heard it right. So, let's start our video. The image is a long-anticipated look at the massive object that sits at the very center of our galaxy. Scientists had previously seen stars orbiting around something invisible, compact, and very massive at the center of the Milky Way. This strongly suggested that this object, known as Sagittarius A star or Sag A star, is a black hole and today's image provides the first direct visual evidence of it. Although we cannot see the black hole itself because it's completely dark, glowing gas around it reveals a telltale signature a dark central region called a shadow, surrounded by a bright ring-like structure. The new view captures light bent by the powerful gravity of the black hole, which is 4 million times more massive than our sun. We were stunned by how well the size of the ring agreed with Einstein's theory of general relativity, said EHT project scientist Jeffrey Bauer from the Institute of Astronomy and Astrophysics, Academia Sinica Taipei. These unprecedented observations have greatly improved our understanding of what happens at the very center of our galaxy and offers new insights on how these giant black holes interact with their surroundings. The EHT team's results are being published today in a special issue of the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Because the black hole is about 27,000 light years away from Earth, it appears to us to have about the same size in the sky as a donut on the moon. To image it, the team created the powerful EHT, which linked together eight existing radio observatories across the planet to form a single Earth-sized virtual telescope. The EHT observed Sag A star on multiple nights, collecting data for many hours in a row similar to using a long exposure time on a camera. The breakthrough follows the EHT collaboration's 2019 release of the first image of a black hole, called M87, at the center of the more distant Messier 87 galaxy. The two black holes look remarkably similar, even though our galaxy's black hole is more than a thousand times smaller and less massive than the M87. We have two completely different types of galaxies and two very different black hole masses, but close to the edge of these black holes, they look amazingly similar. Sis Sarah Markov, co-chair of the EHC Science Council and professor of theoretical astrophysics at the University of Amsterdam, the Netherlands. This tells us that general relativity governs these objects up close, and any differences we see further away must be due to differences in the material that surrounds the black holes. This achievement was considerably more difficult than for M87 star, even though Sag A star is much closer to us. EHT scientist Chi Kwan, CK Chan, from Stewart Observatory and Department of Astronomy and the Data Science Institute of the University of Arizona, US, explains the gas in the vicinity of the black holes moves at the same speed, nearly as fast as light, around both Sag A star and M87 star. But where gas takes days to weeks to orbit the larger M87 star and the much smaller Sag A star, it completes an orbit in mere minutes. This means the brightness and pattern of the gas around Sag A star was changing rapidly as the EHT collaboration was observing it. A bit like trying to take a clear picture of a puppy quickly chasing its tail. The researchers had to develop sophisticated new tools that accounted for the gas movement around Sag A star while M87 star was an easier, steadier target. With nearly all images looking the same, this was not the case for Sag A star. The image of Sag A star's black hole is an average of the different images the team extracted, finally revealing the giant lurking at the center of our galaxy for the first time. The effort was made possible through the ingenuity of more than 300 researchers from 80 institutes around the world that together make up the EHT collaboration, in addition to developing complex tools to overcome the challenges of imaging Sag A star. The team worked rigorously for five years, using supercomputers to combine and analyze their data, all while compiling an unprecedented library of simulated black holes to compare with the observations. Scientists are particularly excited to finally have images of two black holes of very different sizes, which offers the opportunity to understand how they compare and contrast. They have also begun to use the new data to test theories and models of how gas behaves around supermassive black holes. This process is not yet fully understood, but it is thought to play a key role in shaping the formation and evolution of galaxies. Now we can study the differences between the two supermassive black holes to gain valuable new clues about how this important process works, said EHT scientist Kaichi Asada from the Institute of Astronomy and Astrophysics, Academia Seneca Taipei. We have images for two black holes, 
one at the large end and one at the small end of the supermassive black holes in the universe. So we can go a lot further in testing how gravity behaves in these extreme environments than ever before. Progress on the EHT continues. A major observation campaign in March 2022 included more telescopes than ever before. The ongoing expansion of the EHT network and significant technological upgrades will allow scientists to share even more impressive images as well as videos of black holes in the near future. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned!